Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Thanks for being here. I know everybody's busy, and I do appreciate you taking time out of your day. Last week, we talked about nutritional deficiencies and how to spot them, what the most common ones are and how to spot them. And I didn't nearly get close to getting done with what I wanted to cover. So I'm going to do part two right now. And the reason I do part two on any of my shows is because I just can't cover everything in one part. We just need more time is what we need. So let me jump right in because we've got so many different things to talk about uh, with nutrition. Now, many people say, well, Dr. Joe, I have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, I'm fat, I'm ugly, whatever it is, because of my genetics. Genetics play 25%. That's their role. They, they cover 25% of your health problems. 75% of your health problems come from you, your lifestyle. So we're going to have to take some responsibilities. I hear every day patients come in and say, Dr. Joe, since I turned 40, 50, whatever it is, I just can't lose weight. I don't have any energy. My sex drive is down. My brain isn't working like it used to be. Yes, age plays factor. Absolutely. However, we can control a lot of that. And a lot of these problems that come up as we get older have to do with the fact that we have deficiencies in what we eat. You're a machine. If you have a lawnmower, you know that you got to mix the oil and the gas and you got to make it just right and you got to tune it up and you got to sharpen it and you've got to change the spark plug and clean out the air filter. Same thing with your car, same thing with your air conditioner. Whatever machine you have, it has to be maintained. We used to have to uh, manually defrag computers if you're old enough to remember that. We'd have to hit a little button it would go through cleanup process. Now a lot of that's auto automated. But with our bodies, we never defrag. We never clean it up. We just keep dumping junk in there, and then when it shuts down, we're amazed. Oh my gosh, it's broke. What do I do? I better run to the doctor, and hopefully there's some miracle that they can do so I don't have to take responsibility for my own health. And unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. And you expect doctors to know everything. We don't know everything, folks. Patients come in and say, well, Dr. Joe, I need, I, what is that spot on my x-ray? I don't know. Let's get an MRI. Let's get a CAT scan. Let's get a, a radiologist to read it with me. Well, you should know that. Well, nobody knows everything. And so we want to do everything we can to help get you well and keep you well. But the key to all of this is prevention, being proactive, not reactive. So what are the deficiencies? We talked a lot last week about B12, and we talked about vitamin D and magnesium. And if you missed that show, it's on our website, drjoe.com. It's also on our podcast service. So if you are a podcast junkie, just go to your podcast service and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And you'll hear this and hundreds of hours of other shows as well. Uh, but our website, drjoe.com, should also have it as well. Just type in nutritional deficiencies. I think that's how we titled it. So I want to jump right into many other things. I know we don't have a lot of time. And the cool news is, at the end of the show, I'm going to tell you the one thing that you can change in your diet that can help lower your blood pressure. One nutrient. And it's easy, it's quick, it's cheap, and you'll be amazed. If you just do this, you'll never even know you did it. There's no change in flavor. There's no change in anything else except just adding this one little seasoning, actually, is what it is, to your diet to help lower your blood pressure. How cool is that? So that's called a tease in the business. We're going to keep you listening in it. All right, I want to talk about omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3, uh, it's a test that we can do, is one of the most important health screenings that you should do. Uh, and it's such an important predictor of heart disease it's even more important of a heart disease predictor than your cholesterol levels. Now, everybody gets their cholesterol checked. Everybody says, oh, I'm going to get my cholesterol checked. Doc, my cholesterol is high. How many people have ever checked their omega-3 levels? More important than your cholesterol levels. Study measures the omega-3 index, and they did this in 2,500 participants, and they found that those with the highest omega-3 level had the lowest risk of heart problems and lower total mortality, less likely to die. The omega-3 index measures the amount of the, the, the omega-3s are called EPA, DHA, and ALA, but it measures the EPA and the DHA, which are the important ones, in the membranes of your red blood cells. The index is expressed in a percentage of your total red blood cell fatty acids. So just so you know how to read these things. Lab tests are almost impossible to read. They are a nightmare because everything's measured in different levels and nanograms and milliliters and, and, and uh, nanograms. And so it's crazy. Um, that you try to read it is tough. Many times doctors don't know how to read it either. So just so you know, that's how we do it. The omega-3 index. It's been validated as a stable long-term marker in your omega-3 status, and it reflects your tissue levels of DHA and EPA. 
the omega-3 levels index over 8% is, is associated with the lowest risk of, of death from heart disease, while an index of 4% or lower is the highest risk. How hard is this to figure out, folks? Now, there's three types of omega-3 supplements that you can take. And by the way, you need to take it as a supplement because it's called an essential fatty acid. Essential means you can't make it yourself. You have to get it from an outside source. So it's essential. Now, you can get it from some foods. Uh, macadamia nuts have it. Uh, chia seeds, flax seeds, uh, even romaine lettuce has some omega-3 fatty acids in it. But I like to supplement because the, the vegetable sources of omega-3s can, uh, ha are called ALA. And ALA has to be converted into DHA and EPA. I don't want to bore you with the, with the chemistry here. But the best source, there's three types that people can supplement with that are most common. Number one is fish oil. Not a fan of fish oil. Fish oil, you run the risk of contamination with mercury. So I'm not a big fan of that. And also the fish oil has to be converted into what's called a phospholipid form. And a phospholipid form is a form we use as a human. And the fish oil is not in a phospholipid form. If you take krill oil, krill oil is better because it's better for the environment and it's already in the uh, in a phospholipid form. However, fish and krill need omega-3s because it's an essential fatty acids to them as well. They have to get it from an outside source and they just store it in their fat and then you eat their fat. What if we went to the source that the fish and the krill use to get the omega-3 fatty acids? and that would be algae. Algae is the purest form of omega-3 fatty acids, and it's the one I take every day. Because people say to me every day, Dr. Joe, what supplements do you take? What diet do you eat? What's your healthcare regimen? How do you sleep? What kind of mattress do you have? They figure I've done the research. Why you know, cut to the chase, cut to the chase and let's go with what I do. And I'm happy to share all that information with you. And in fact, that's what every show I've ever done or every lecture I've ever done in the past 40 years is. It's kind of fun. I was going through some old records the other day, way back from 10, 20, 30 years ago. And I had my appointment calendars. These were all handwritten appointment calendars back then. And it was kind of cool because I was doing two, three live lectures a week for many, many years and looking at the topics. And I said, okay, so I've been doing this for a long time. And the advice is every, every time I learn something, I share it with you. I never keep anything a secret. Don't worry. So we try to share all this information. So I take algae omega-3s because it's the purest form. And it's on our website, drjoe.com. And I think you too should be taking algae omega-3s as well. I take two capsules a day. It says one a day. That's the minimum. I take two a day. I take a gram of omega-3 fatty acids a day. It's great for your brain. It's great for inflammation. It helps fight uh, the aging process. So many benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. So I would strongly recommend you do that. Most people have a ratio, well, you're supposed to have a ratio of one to one, omega-3 to omega-6. Most people have 20 omega-6s to one omega-3. Fix that. Take omega-3 supplements. It's real simple. It's on the website, drjoe.com. Uh, you can order any of our supplements. We ship them to you usually the next business day. We're more than happy to get them to you as quickly as possible. And if you want to come by our offices in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Just pick them up, save some shipping. We'd like to say hi, shake your hand. So please feel free. Now, I do not work in all four offices five days a week, just so you know that. Somebody said, well, I went to your Stockbridge office and you weren't there. I said, well, I can't be in four offices five days a week. So my doctors are handpicked by me. They're trained by me and they're my personal doctors. They're the people that take care of me. So I take, if I trust them taking care of me and my loved ones, you're in great hands as far as I'm concerned. My opinion is my doctors are some of the best in the world. Now, if you are a chiropractor, you'd like to join our team. If you know one, we need one more superstar. So if you know anybody who's looking for a job and wants to join our team, we'd love to have them. And they can just send our resume through drjoe.com or call us. So there's my plug. Another supplement that a lot of people are deficient in is vitamin A. Estimates 51% of adults are not consuming enough vitamin A, and that increases your risk of degenerative diseases like macular degeneration. Uh, that's a leading cause of blindness in the U.S. and the third leading cause of blindness in the whole world. That's after glaucoma and cataracts. Now, I have macular degeneration. I was told, I don't know, maybe six, eight years ago now, um, you're done, man. Not much you can do. It's a progressive disease. You're going to probably go blind from it. And that's it. Nothing you can do. So I said, unacceptable. So I really hunkered down. I really, I did all my research, what supplements I need. My macular degeneration is now improving every year. My eye doctor, Dr. Z, she says, this is impossible. 
Macular degeneration never gets better. It only stays the same or gets worse, and it gets worse slowly or quickly, but it never gets better. And she has my pictures of my eyes, and it's improving every year. My vision's getting better every year. So if you go to my website, drjoe.com, type in macular degeneration, you will see pictures of my eyes, and you can see what's called drusen. You see it getting better and better every year. So I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I am saying it worked wonderful for me because by now I should be blind and my vision's actually improving, which is kind of cool. So vitamin A is really part of that whole protocol. Now, people who eat r- foods rich in vitamin A uh, experience reduced risk of developing a squamous cell carcinoma. Now, you want to take uh, your, your uh, supplements in a beta-carotene form because beta-carotene is the precursor to vitamin A. If you eat, take vi- beta-carotene, which is found in fruits and vegetables— that converts into vitamin A. If you take vitamin A supplements directly, you can overdose on them. Now, you're not going to if you follow the directions, but beta carotene is a better choice to get your vitamin A. And where do we get that from? Orange and yellow vegetables. So the more fruits and vegetables you eat, the better off you're going to be. It's one of the reasons I invented Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Dr. Joe's Essential Source, we take a multitude of fruits and vegetables, juice them, take the water out at a very low temperature, and what's left is a powder. We use a low temperature so we don't destroy any of the nutrients in the process. But it's amazing. It's fruits and vegetables, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, a complete multivitamin. I was watching a show the other day on on the History Channel, and it's called The Food That Made America. Really great series, by the way. They have The Men That Made America, The the Food That Made America, The Cars That Made America. Really good series if you want to learn how it all happened. And they're talking about, you know, sodas, and they're talking about cookies, and they're talking about chocolates, and how a lot of these guys went bankrupt, and how their their business partners stole their ideas, and the cutthroat that goes on in business. But I thought to myself, their goal was everyone should have this cookie in their house. Everyone should have this soda in their house. And it worked. This uh, ketchup in their house. This hot sauce in their house. And so I thought, why doesn't everyone have Dr. Joe's Essential Source in their house? It's the minimum supplements everybody should take every day, super greens and essential source. But I'm talking about essential source now with the prebiotics and the probiotics. Super greens alkalizes your system, and most of us are too acidic, so you kind of need both, but just essential source. We did nothing but essential source. I thought, what an amazing world it would be if every household took essential source every day. How many diseases would never happen? How many sicknesses would never occur? How much money would never be spent unnecessarily on healthcare, how the economy would change dramatically because the, you know, we spend so much money on healthcare and we'd shift that into people having that money in their own pockets to spend on other things. Now, I'm not saying it's a cure-all for everything, but it's the minimum starting point. So anyway, I think everybody should take Super Greens and Essential Source. It's on the website, drjoe.com. And I say that because it's a great source of vitamin A. And I'm going to talk about iodine in just a second. And vitamin E, which is my next on the list. Vitamin E, powerful antioxidant. Uh, and it acts to fight off what's called free radicals. Free radicals are like Pac-Man. They eat through things. And so you want to shut down that free radical attack on the body because it speeds up every disease, the aging process, brain deterioration. So we can fix that many times, not always, by giving you antioxidants. And vitamin E is great for that. Most Americans do not consume enough vitamin E-rich foods, and so they're at risk. You find vitamin E in things like seeds, spinach, broccoli, So where are these nutrients coming from? They're coming from plants. If you eat an animal, let's assume some animals have omega-3 fatty acids, like salmon, for example. Salmon don't make omega-3 fatty acids. They get it from eating algae, the plant source. Uh, Vitamin A, vitamin E, protein. Where does an animal get it from? Eating the plants. So it all trickles down to the plants. That's where the nutrients are concentrated, and that's where you should be getting your nutrients from. It's the purest form. And that's why I created Super Greens, an essential source, to make it so easy and so stupid simple for you that you take a scoop of each, shake it up with some coconut milk, almond milk, whatever, put it in a blender with some frozen bananas, and take it every day. I can't make it any easier for you. So I'm thinking hopefully someday the the, uh, uh, the History Channel will do a a story, and the show will be the supplements that made America, and it'll be Super Greens, an essential source. That's my thought. Now, I take other supplements too, but they're the, the minimum ones. Now, with vitamin E, it's fat-soluble, 
So when you eat your spinach, if you put a little of uh, some olives in there or some avocado in with your salads, that's going to make it a little easier to absorb. But again, more fruits and vegetables, better off you are. I do want to talk about iodine. Now, the reason I want to talk about iodine is that nearly 2 billion people worldwide don't get enough iodine in their diet. Most of them in the developed countries. Now, if we're in Japan, let's say, they'll eat sea vegetables and they'll eat seaweeds and stuff like that. And so there'll be uh, iodine in their diet. And iodine is really important to protect your thyroid gland. So I'm going to give you a nice little lecture here on thyroid. Now, the thyroid gland sits in the front of your throat, kind of where your Adam's apple would be if you're a man or woman, if you know where that would be. And it sits there and it looks like a butterfly. It's a a lobe on either side. And you have your thyroid and your parathyroid. Parathyroid, one of its main jobs is to balance out calcium in the blood. But the thyroid gland does a lot. The thyroid gland works with your pituitary gland and your adrenal glands, and they all feed off each other to make the body function normally. So genetically, we can have issues. You might have Graves disease, which is an autoimmune disease. And sometimes you have to have surgery on your thyroid. Sometimes you have to have your thyroid removed. I'm not against surgery. I'm not against uh, medication. So if you have your thyroid removed, you have to take medication or you die. So I'm not against any of that. But what I want you to look at is what makes that thyroid click. And so one of the things we look at is the nerve supply to an organ. And now this is a unique way of looking at healthcare. I don't know of any other healthcare providers that do this. Check the nerve that goes to an organ. Let's say it's your heart, your lungs, your liver, your spleen, your kidneys, your thyroid. The brain is sending messages down the spine, out the nerves to every cell in the body. So there's a nerve that controls your heart, your lungs, your liver, your spleen, but also controls your thyroid. And the thyroid nerve comes from the middle of your neck, about the fourth, fifth cervical area. And that's the nerve supply that controls the thyroid. Now, most of us have damaged our neck at some point, car accidents, sports injuries, slip and fall, sleeping wrong. And that's the the fulcrum of your neck. It's right in the middle. So it's very common to see pinched nerves in that area. And that's the nerve supply that goes to the thyroid. So one of the things we do when a patient comes in, we always check the nerve supply to the organs. Because if an organ isn't working, it's going to affect how the body works. So what we have to do is check the nerve supply to an organ. Then we look at their diet. What are you eating? What are you not eating? Do you need supplementation? Most people do. I've yet to find somebody who doesn't need supplementation, actually, in my opinion. And then we make sure their digestive system is working so they can absorb the nutrients. So with the thyroid gland, many times we treat the thyroid, but very few people ever check the nerve to the thyroid. And I'm going to get into how the thyroid works in a second. So let me go off on a tangent here. If you have a pinched nerve in your back or your shoulder or your hip or your knee or your foot, one of the things that happens is it can hurt. So if you have pain, that's telling you that there's something wrong. However, 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. Let me say that again. 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. You can have a pinched nerve and not know it. So for example, you don't feel your thyroid gland. It's controlled by nerves. You don't feel your spleen, your kidneys, your blood pressure. So my doctors and I, we check the nerves that feel pain, but we also check the nerves that don't feel pain. And the reason is if we take you on as a patient, I don't want to get you out of pain. I want to get you well. And so we check the nerves that feel pain and the nerves that don't feel pain. Now, the number one reason people see us, although we try to educate them, that it's not just about pain, is they come in for pain. My doctors are really good at working with pain patients. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, um, shooting pain, sciatica, wrist pain, come see us. Chiropractic is the most effective, least expensive treatment for pain, back pain. So let's start with the most effective, least expensive. If we need to escalate the care, we can. So we can go up from there if we need to. So if you want to make an appointment, go to our website, drjoe.com. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, and we'd love to be your doctors. Uh, My doctors and I work together on the patients. I don't see every patient through their whole treatment plan. I can't. I couldn't physically be in four places five days a week. So my doctors, trust me, you're in great hands. They're really great doctors because... They work on me. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com, you can do it right online. Normally, the first visit is $712. We've reduced that to $299. Now, I know that's crazy. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays on the follow-up visit, and a complete nutrition evaluation. Now, the x-rays alone are going to cost you more than $299 anywhere else. You might as well just come, most cases, I shouldn't say everywhere. 
you might as well just come see us. Let's get a whole workup done. We'll put together a nutrition evaluation. We'll do a chiropractic evaluation. We'll put you on a treatment plan if we need to. If we need to refer you out, we'll refer you out. It's a great one-stop shop to start your treatment plans. So if you'd like to become a patient, drjoe.com. You can call us. The number's on the website. Or just book it right online. Please, if you make an appointment, please show up. We're very busy. Our doctors are very busy. And you can imagine with all the healthcare problems coming on, people are turning back to, I want to get healthy. I realize that, oh my gosh, I can't do this forever. You know, be bad to myself and not have consequences. So people are seeing that healthcare is vital to their existence. And they're coming around to saying, I've got to take responsibility. So if you book an appointment and don't show up, you're taking that appointment away from somebody else. And that's not fair. We reserve time, doctors, rooms, paperwork for you. So please, if you make an appointment, at least call us and let us know 24 hours in advance and we can refill that spot, and we will. So drjoe.com, we'd love to see you. If you have any questions, you can go to our website, drjoe.com, and you can send me questions through the website. I'm more than happy uh, to answer any questions for you. My partner, my, my producer, director, whatever he wants to call himself, he's everything, Joe. He and I answer your questions as quickly as we can. If you want to order supplements, we're more than happy to ship them to you. Or if you want to save shipping costs, come pick them up. Uh, on social media, you need to do me a favor. I think I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to cover, I'm going to go, stick with me. I'm going to get into iodine. Uh, it's really important. And then I'm going to talk about the one spice seasoning you need to add to your diet that studies have shown can help lower your blood pressure. I can't make it any easier for you folks. There's supplements, there's chiropractic, there's uh, stomach adjustments because the stomach is con controlled by the vagus nerve, which controls the digestive system, also controls the heart. There's so many different things we can do for blood pressure, but this is something you can do every single day. And it's exciting. It's new research. I'm going to go over that too. But I want you to follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. Uh, we post so many things almost every day. We're posting something. Uh, we post recipes, we have giveaways, we give away concert tickets, we give away lecture tickets, uh, supplements, specials that we might run. Uh, we have a new supplement out. Uh, it's Dr. Joe Super Greens, and it's made with hemp protein, and it's on sale right now. So if you go to the website, you'll see it's on sale. Um, but it's great. I really like it, and we're real excited to use hemp protein. We replaced the rice protein with the hemp protein, um, and it's a source of uh, a better source. Uh, a, a source of omega-3 fatty acids. So that's why we kind of did that this week. So uh, follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. If you're a podcast junkie, go to your podcast service and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. We have hundreds of hours of podcasts there. You can listen to them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you go to our website, drjoe.com, we have over 3,000 hours of podcasts. Folks, I don't know how to make this any easier for you. And the price for all that podcast and blogs and everything else, follow social media is no charge. I have a passion. I have a goal. My goal and my team of doctors goal is to get you well and keep you well. So if you're serious about wanting to get well, drjoe.com, you can book an appointment. Uh, it's again, it's $2.99 versus $7.12, which is the normal price. Uh, answer questions through the website, podcast, follow us on social media. Let's make it easy. All right, I'm going to have to continue iodine on the next segment here. But we said about 2 billion people worldwide don't get enough iodine in their diet. And your body uses iodine across so many organ systems. It's most commonly known to synthesize uh, thyroid hormones. But it's not just your thyroid. If I don't have a thyroid, that doesn't mean I don't need iodine. You need it for so many different things. It can affect, uh, of course, the, the, th the thyroid. It can affect your pregnancy if you're pregnant. Uh, subclinical iodine levels can interfere with thyroid function. Now, what does that mean? Clinical means you know about it. Subclinical means you're not aware of it, but it's happening. All right, folks, when we come back, a lot more to cover on thyroid. Please stick around. This is really important. Most people have this, and they don't even know it. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Our website, drjoe.com. If you have any questions, send them there. Uh, tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate that. I know everybody's so busy. Um, and it's kind of neat because uh, when this show airs, uh, it's kind of fun. It's, it's, it's in the mornings, obviously. Um, if you're listening, you're hearing it in the morning. And if you listen as a podcast, of course, you can listen anytime you want to. But I love the fact that people stop me in, in the street or in the grocery store or whatever. And I say, oh, my God, driving home from work. It used to be so boring. I listen to your show now. It's so amazing. You're just great. Thank you so much. And it, it doesn't happen every day. It happens several times a day. And I get very excited about this. And it really is one of the things that motivates me to keep doing this because I've been lecturing now for 40 years. 
Because when people say, Dr. Joe, what you told me changed my life. That, I, I don't think, I don't know if I could ever stop doing that. It's so exciting to hear that people listen to this. And even if you don't do everything, and I know I get a little crazy and I go off on extremes. Not, that's not extreme. I mean, I think cutting your chest open, r- ripping your heart out and, and, and putting in a new valve, that's extreme. Eating broccoli is not extreme. But people think, well, gosh, Dr. Joe, I could never do what you do. Yes, you can. You have to eat anyway. Why not eat good foods? It really is that simple. Just put good food on your plate instead of bad food on your plate. And try to eat until you're about 80% full. I posted that as, I think Joe posted it actually, my, my uh, the director there, my, my shipping director, and he's the director of everything. And he posted, you know, only eat till you're 80% full. And somebody says, well, how do you know when you're 80% full? That's ridiculous. Well, those don't get to being full. Maybe it's 82%. You don't have to be totally stuffed at every meal. And in fact, if I do stuff myself now, um, I feel miserable. And so you'll realize, gosh, I feel a lot better when I eat less. Calorie restriction, it's called. Eat high quality foods, you'll eat less of them. Because when you're hungry, you're not hungry for food, you're hungry for nutrition. Give your body high quality nutrition, you're going to eat a lot less food. You save money, you'll feel better, you lose weight, you live longer, your sex life improves, your, your, your brain function improves, you go to the bathroom better. There's no downside to being healthy, except one. There is a downside. The only downside I see to eating a good diet is the bad food tastes good. I remember alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. I remember them. And they were good. Tasted good. They weren't good for you. They just tasted good. So you can do this. Anybody can do it. And just do a little bit. You know, back during World War II, there were meatless Mondays and then meatless Wednesdays because they didn't have a lot of meat. And they rationed foods. And so why not do Meatless Monday, Meatless Wednesday again? And then if you're a Catholic, Meatless Friday too. If you're old enough, you remember what that means. And so just start cutting back on the bad foods and eat a little more good foods. And every day you do it, you'll feel a little better, a little better. Oh, I can do this. And it's amazing what will happen. So let's try it. See what happens. And if I'm wrong, so what? Go back to eating steak. But if I'm right, which I am, then you'll say, this is it? Everybody says this, I swear to you. This is all I had to do to get healthy? This is it? No secret that I had to you know, fly to India and face east and you know, follow some Swami around for 10 years? No. The way you get healthy is a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. That's the core of a health plan. That's all you need. Start there, see if I'm right. And if I'm right, great. And if I'm wrong, I am wrong. What are you going to do? But I am right. And you have to buy food anyway, buy good foods. So they caught, you'll, save, you'll save a ton of money just by eating better foods. And then if you do have a neurological issue, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, acid reflux, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, it might be something you want to come see us for so that we can fix the physical problems. You can't fix the physical problems on your own because I can't fix them and I know how to do it and I can't do it. So you can't fix the physical on your own. You might want to come see us for that. But I'll teach you how to manage your day-to-day life. And if you go to our website, drjoe.com, we have over... 3,000 hours of podcasts, audio, video, YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, it's free. I don't know how else to give it to you, but free. And you could learn so much. And you could search the website, type in what you're looking for. We have a search engine that you can find out. We've done podcasts or articles or website, uh, uh, website uh, 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 posts. It's all there, drjoe.com. But I digress. Today, we're talking about Nutritional deficiencies. And so many of us have them. And one of the ones that is so often ignored, and most of you have never even heard, you've heard about vitamin D and you've heard about vitamin C and you've heard about omega-3 fatty acids and magnesium. How many of you have ever heard of an iodine deficiency? So many of us have iodine deficiencies. And as I said earlier, nearly 2 billion people don't get enough iodine in their diet. Now, the body uses iodine across many organ systems most commonly to synthesize thyroid hormones. You need it as a building block for your thyroid hormones. In fact, if you look at thyroid hormones, they're labeled T1, T2, T3, and T4. The numbers, one, two, three, and four, mean how many molecules of iodine are attached to that hormone. I'll ask you a question. Where do you get your iodine from? If you even have an answer, the answer pretty much is going to be, well, salt. I use iodized salt. Well, we eat too much salt. I'm going to cover next how to uh, fix that problem. 
and make it easy and help your blood pressure and your heart disease by adding a new spice to your diet. It's pretty cool. So salt is where you get your iodine. It's not even a good form of iodine. It's a cheap form of iodine. I want you to get your iodine from sea vegetables. How many of you eat sea vegetables? How many of you know what sea vegetables is, are? Most of you don't. Probably thinking seaweed. That's true. Moderate imbalance in thyroid levels, levels have been associated with increased risk of metabolic syndrome, which means you're fat, you're, uh, you've got uh, high blood pressure, uh, you may have diabetes, so that's called metabolic syndrome. Researchers noted this in the Journal of Environmental International, it's called, which is why studying factors that contribute to low thyroid function, even at a subclinical level, is of high public health importance. Subclinical means I'm not aware I have an issue, but it's still going on in our body. It's like blood pressure. You might know about it if you have symptoms. If you don't have symptoms, it would be considered subclinical. Now, thyroid hormones, for instance, are essential for normal growth and development in children, neurological development in babies before birth in the first year, and upregulating your metabolism. Well, regulating your metabolism, making sure you can burn off fat properly. Now, in addition, iodine is essential mineral that helps prevent polyunsaturated fats from oxidizing. It alkalizes your body's pH. Most of us are too acidic. It helps bring down and make it more alkaline. It protects against cancer, and it's a natural antibacterial agent. Now, foods that are high in iodine would be spirulina, sea vegetables, prunes. Okay, if you want to eat prunes, I guess plums too. So eating these foods on a regular basis make the difference. So years ago, somebody came to me, well, several people came to me and said, Dr. Joe, what would you consider the world's best supplement? So I sat down with a friend of mine, Ron, out in California. I flew out to California several times, and we sat in a place called Follow Your Heart Cafe. We went other places too, but every time I was there, we'd go have a meal at Follow Your Heart Cafe, which was great. And Ron and I would sit there and we'd say, and my friend Johnny Rizzo was there too. And I said, how are we going to make what I would consider the world's best supplement? So we created something called Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Now it's fruits and vegetables in a powder form. We dry it at a very low temperature. Prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, complete multivitamin. So we created Essential Source. And then we said, okay, we still don't have, an, we have some sea vegetables in there, but we need to alkalize the system. We need to give the body omega-3 fatty acids. We need to give it uh, minerals that the body needs for every function in the body. So then we created a sen- super greens and, and essential source. Essential source is like the multivitamin super greens alkalizes great source of minerals. So I can't imagine why you're not taking it if you're not. It's the minimum supplements I think everybody should be taking. It took years to formulate. So you can get it on our website, drjoe.com, or pick it up in our, we- in our offices. Um, we have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, and that'll save you some shipping costs. But the reason I say that is, yeah, I want you to try do it, not try it, but do it, is it's a great source of iodine. Because where else are you going to get iodine from? When was the last time you ate sea vegetables? Well, Dr. Joe, I had sushi about six years ago. It had some seaweed on it. Yeah, that's true. That is a source of iodine, by the way. But we need it on a consistent basis. And if we want our thyroid to work, if we want to help prevent certain types of cancer, if we want the brain to work better, we want to alkalize the system, iodine is such an important key and so many people don't even know, don't even think about it, much less know where to get it from. So super greens an essential source with the other gazillion things that it's good for. It's a great source of iodine. And so please, I'm begging you, if you're not going to do anything else to help your health, please at least do super greens an essential source. If you're going to do everything else to help your health, take super greens an essential source. And they're on the website, drjoe.com. Now, there's two types of super greens. There's one with mint and there's one plain. I like the mint. It's a little sweeter, has a little more flavor. Uh, we just came out with a new super greens with hemp protein. Uh, and the reason I say that is because hemp protein is a, is a source of omega-3 fatty acids, along with the chlorella and spirulina, which is another source of omega-3 fatty acids. And so many people are deficient in omega-3s. We're trying to make it more better, as we say. Now, we still have the other one we had, but the hemp, I'm liking it, actually. So I like the hemp protein. Uh, in there. And there's a reason we reformulated the whole protocol. So we're talking today about uh, nutritional deficiencies and how common they are. And it's sad because so many health problems could be avoided just by making sure you have all the nutrients in your body. And again, that's why we created Super Greens, an essential source of at least a starting point. Now you have to eat good foods too. Remember, supplements are just that. They're a supplement. They supplement a good diet. They're not instead of a good diet, they're in addition to a good diet. And so a good diet, if you don't know what to eat, you can go to our website, drjoe.com. And at drjoe.com, type in the words in the search bar, so what can I eat? 
And we did a great one-hour lecture. I was in a studio by myself, and I just yapped on for an hour on breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, parties, raising kids, packing your pantry, unpacking your pantry. And the cost, by the way, for that amazing workshop that I did just for you is absolutely free. It's on the website, drjoe.com. I was uh, out at a party last weekend uh, with my extended family, and it was kind of fun because several people there said, you know, Dr. Joe, every time I listen to one of your shows, your topics, your lectures, your podcast, I feel like you and I are talking and you're talking directly to me. How many people feel that way? Raise your hands. A lot of you do. You say, okay, I feel like you're talking directly to me. Everybody has the same problems. I remember talking to a counselor one time, a friend of mine, and he did a, a, you know, relationship counseling, all sorts of counseling, but relationship counseling, children's counseling. And he said too, he says, the one thing I've learned as a counselor is everybody's got the same problems. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, male, female, fat, skinny, old, young, we all have the same problems. And when it comes to nutrition, we all have the same problems. And it's so easy to fix. It's ridiculous how easy it is. But we're not taught this stuff. That's why I'm here to teach you. So I teased you earlier about one thing you can add, a, a spice that you can add to your diet that can help so many different things, and one of them being high blood pressure. And that would be potassium. Now, it's not boring. Follow me on this. Of all the terrible things in our diets, we have such a high sodium intake, high salt intake, and it's a leading risk. It's estimated to cause millions of deaths every year, killing millions uh, through adverse problems with high blood pressure, increased risk of stroke, heart disease, kidney damage. So hypertension, also called high blood pressure, is still called the silent and the invisible killer. So many people have high blood pressure and don't know it. And when the pressure increases, it puts pressures on your kidneys. It puts pressures on your filter, uh, on your liver, which are filters. And it can blow out, damage your kidneys, damage your liver, damage your brain, cause stroke, cause heart disease. And people don't even know they have it. And so what do we do? The first thing we do is get you on blood pressure medication. Number one medication patients are on, and I've been doing this for a long time. I've seen, I'm estimating tens of thousands of patients. Number one medication is high blood pressure. How many of you are on high blood pressure medication? Raise your hands. And the doctors will tell you, eh, cut down on your salt intake. But where's salt? Where's sodium? It's everywhere. Everything that's processed. If you eat meat, you think, well, no, I didn't add salt to my meat. The salt can be in, in the juice that runs out of the meat. You ever slice open a steak and the, the juice runs out? Well, the red stuff is blood. But the f clear fluid that comes out, the au jus gravy, that's interstitial fluid. And it has several different things in it. Uh, and it has sodium in it because the animal has sodium in it. It's bloody, like your blood and your, your sweat has salt in it. So does the animals. So you're eating that. It's also all urine. It's, it's the same uh, components as urine. So you're eating cow pee and chicken pee and piggy pee when you're eating that. But that's another lecture. So even if you're eating just saying, well, I just eat meat every day and I don't salt it, you're still getting too much sodium in your diet. So it can cause a lot of different problems. And it's one of the most powerful independent predictors of some of our leading causes of health. Too much salt. Now, real easy to fix. So we evolved consuming a very uh, diet very rich in potassium and low in sodium. So if we go back to our ancestors, they ate a lot of fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, loaded with potassium. They didn't add salt to things, as far as we know. So today, this pattern is completely reversed. It flips and reflects a shift in traditional... Uh, eating traditional eating fruits and vegetables to eating more salted processed foods. We even preserve foods with salt, like bacon or ham. We process it and preserve it in sodium. 98% of the U.S. population doesn't reach the minimum daily intake of potassium. Now, the reason I say this is potassium counteracts the sodium. It's the yin and yang of the body, okay? So diet is so important. I'm going to go off on a tangent here for a second. Diet is so important. I'm going to talk about where to get potassium from that's really cheap and really easy, and you don't have to do almost, almost nothing to get the potassium. But we also have to check the nerve supply to the organs. I talked about that earlier. People tune in and out all the time. That's why sometimes I'll, I'll repeat things. But we got to check the nerve supply to the heart, the kidneys. These are all things that can affect blood pressure. And if you go to our website, drjoe.com, and you have high blood pressure, type the words high blood pressure in the search bar, Listen to the show we did on high blood pressure. Tons of tips that I gave you 
on helping blood pressure. Now, this is new research that I'm going to go into now. But we talk about if you have a pinched nerve, it can affect blood pressure. If you have a digestive issue, heartburn, acid reflux, uh, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel disease, the nervous system that controls your digestive system is called the enteric nervous system. Its major nerve that controls the enteric nervous system is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve also controls some of the heart. So if you irritate the enteric ner nervous system, vagus nerve complex, that can affect the blood pressure. And many times when we work on patients and fix their digestive system, the blood pressure drops. Now, if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, the stomach can actually push up into the diaphragm. And many times we have to pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm, adjust the stomach. And it's amazing. The results are just off the chart. Not only many times does it help the heartburn, the acid reflux, and the diarrhea and the constipation, it also takes the stress off the enteric nervous system, which allows the heart to go back to beating normally, which then lowers the blood pressure. What we're doing here is we're getting to the cause of the problem, not just treating the symptoms. So we check the nerve supply to the organs. We check the stomach. We check the diet. We recommend supplementation. So we have a protocol for every one of our patients. So if you'd like to become a patient, in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Do this. Go to our website right now, drjoe.com, or anytime you can. It's there 24 hours a day drjoe.com, and you can click on the office that you want to make an appointment in, and we can get you set up as quickly as possible. Normally, the first visit is $712. We've reduced that to $299. That includes exam, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays on your follow-up, oh, x-rays, going over the x-rays on your follow-up visit, and a complete nutrition evaluation. Most places, it's going to cost you way more than $299 just to get the x-rays done. Now, two things. If you make an appointment, show up. And if you're not serious about wanting to get well, please don't make an appointment. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your $299, which I know is a ridiculous price anyway. But don't waste your time. We want people that are serious about wanting to get well and stay well. DrJoe.com, book your appointment right now. We accept almost every insurance for treatment after that. Uh, we have plans like uh, care credit and uh, uh, payment plans. Folks, I used to say a, a, a year's worth of treatment with us is less than a day in a hospital. I went to the emergency room once. I cut my mouth. It turns out that a year's worth of treatment with us is less than three hours in the emergency room. It's ridiculous. And you can't afford not to get healthy. That's the other thing too. You can't afford not to eat well. You can't afford not to be healthy. So you'll make so much more money by being healthy than you will if you don't. So we want people that are serious. DrJoe.com, make the appointment. Love to see you. If you're ever in a car accident, if the car is damaged, you're damaged. I've never seen it any other way. I'm begging you, please come see us immediately. As soon as you're in an accident, everyone in the car needs to get checked by us. Sometimes the symptoms don't show up for six months later. And by then, the insurance company can say, well, you didn't go to the doctor. We're not going to pay you. If you get a phone call after your accident saying it's a doctor's office, if it's an attorney, it's your insurance company saying, go see this doctor and attorney, it's a scam. Don't fall for it. It eats away at my heart. So many people get scammed when there's a car accident. They don't get the care they need. And they have permanent damage. So anyway, gosh, I still need more time. We need to be eating more potassium in our body. Now, few physicians ever think to tell a patient with high blood pressure to eat things like fruits and vegetables to control their blood pressure. Uh, but there's so many what are called meta-analysis done, studies of studies of studies, that now confirm high potassium intakes appears to re reduce the risk of high blood pressure and stroke. So the reduc reduction of stroke uh, redu is, is independent of the blood pressure even. So the potassium helps so many different ways. So eating more fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds is going to be important. Sodium is found in crappy processed foods and potassium is concentrated in healthy foods, beans, greens. So you're eating a lot of salt, you're not eating a lot of potassium. So here's some things that you can do. You can bring down your blood pressure, get more potassium, even if you're not willing to change your diet simply by adding potassium chloride to your food. Potassium chloride is sodium-free salt. And so what I want you to do is consider this. Everybody should do this anyway. Get some potassium chloride, buy it in a grocery store, and you can mix one-fourth potassium chloride with three-fourths so so salt, table salt. You will never know potassium chloride is in there. And now we've given you a great source of potassium chloride, that's cheap. Now, if you do pure potassium chloride, which would be the ideal scenario, 
it may not taste so good. So you can start with a quarter potassium chloride salt with, with table salt, then go up to half, half potassium chloride, half sodium chloride, table salt. See if you're okay with it. And just play with it. If you don't like it, add some more table salt, right? You know, you can, this is something you can do very simply. And there's zero potassium, it's called zero sodium uh, supplements, uh, zero, zero sodium salts. So we know that salt substitutes can help lower blood pressure, but it, does it actually inc- decrease the risk of hypertension and the diseases that it causes? The answer is yes. So you can take medication. If you need medication, absolutely take it. But medication has side effects. Potassium chloride, no side effect, except it might not taste as salty as you want it to. That's why I'm saying mix it a little bit and see what happens. So what about actually people who do this? Does it actually reduce their risk of dying from cardiovascular disease? Answer was yes. They did a study. They did a veteran's home, retirement home. They did 50-50 blend, potassium chloride and sodium chloride. And the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease was reduced by 40%. And they lived... Uh, up to a year longer, if not more, depending on this was a short study. Life expectancy difference at age 70 was equivalent to that what, what it was 14 years ago. So again, it, it, we're, we're living longer, but these are little tricks that you can do to even live longer still. So take advantage of science. There's a big study now, 20,000 people in China, uh, because China uses a lot of sodium. We're going to see what happens to it. Now, you can get potassium from fruits and vegetables. You can get it from adding potassium chloride to your salt. It, could it be that you take too much potassium chloride? Yes. So people say, well, you know, there was a, what if you take too much? There was a study done. One person actually committed suicide by eating pure potassium chloride. Don't eat pure potassium chloride. And they ate a ton of it. You don't need to do that. Potassium chloride is safe. And if you eat, let's say, too many bananas, you'd have to eat like 40 or 50 bananas a day for a long, long time to get too much potassium. The nice thing about potassium is, oh, here's a study, 20 bananas a day or 75 carrots a day to overdose on potassium. The nice part is that potassium, you pee it out if you have too much. Now, if you drink too much water, if you drink gallons of water at a time, that's not good for you. So generally speaking, it's safe. You can add it simply to your table salt. It's cheap. You won't know it's there. And if it doesn't work, so what? It didn't work. So that's a little fun, fun tip for you. And I'm, I'm really excited about the new research that's out on that. But if you do have high blood pressure, go to our website, drjoe.com. Any health problem, drjoe.com. Just type in what you're looking for. We've probably done a podcast, a, a, an article, a lecture, a show on it. If you have further questions after that, go to our website. A little bot pops up and says, want to chat. Send us your questions. Me and Joe, my uh, associate here, are more than happy to answer your questions for you. Follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. Your podcast service, just type in Dr. Joe for the health of it, and we're there. But most important is make an appointment. In the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, you can do it right online, drjoe.com. Great source of information. Folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time.